we will be installing and initializing Docker environment on Azure virtual machine. Then we'll be using a, an Ubuntu image for that. Um, I'll walk you through the process of of everything and um, we'll be using Docker. Docker is a powerful containerization platform that allows you to build, deploy, and manage applications using lightweight, isolated containers. And um, if you follow the steps I show you, you'll be able to set up Docker on your Azure virtual machines, and um, you'll be able to leverage the benefits of containerization. The first thing you want to be sure you have is an active Azure subscription. Uh, you can either do the free plan or the pay as you go. The pay as you go is also fine because they won't charge you as, as long as you, you don't stay too long there. Uh, if you spend just 20 minutes there about, you won't be charged because uh, that's what I use. Uh, you also need to have access to Azure Virtual Machine with the appropriate permissions. All right. So you probably have to open an account. You can go to YouTube and watch how to open an Azure account. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, we'll have to go to the um, Azure. This is what the dashboard looks like in your in Microsoft Azure. Uh, you should have virtual machine here, but if you don't, you can type it here or you can come here and look for it. It should be somewhere here. That's the virtual machine. And um, you create, create a virtual machine hosted by Azure, yes. Uh, this is my subscription. You should have one. If you don't have one, create one. Uh, if you don't have a resource group, you have to create a resource group. Uh, you can call it anything. I'll call mine Atuba. Right? Mm. Then what would you want to call your your virtual machine? I'll call mine Docker. Since I plan to install Docker on it. Just leave every other thing as it is. Uh, leave your Ubuntu Gen 2. Uh, everything, leave it as it is. Make sure SSH is here. Um, this user, uh, you can call, I'll, call, I'll put my name there. You can put your name there if you want to. Generate a key pair, yes. What should it, the, 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 the key pair name? I want it to be Docker as well. Oh, well, let me make it Docker key. That's fine. Um, what else? What else? Um, allow selected ports. Yes, that's fine. Um, and just review and create. All right. So even if you stayed here for an hour, you still won't spend up to one dollar. All right, you won't. All right. Um, so that's that. They are giving me the details of my virtual machine. They're asking if I want to download my private key. Of course, I want to private download it because that's what I was using logging in. As you can see, it's been downloaded. And um, what I like to do is I like to relocate the Docker key into a, a folder of mine. So I will, um, let me delete this. I will come here, Docker key, I will take it. And I will take it to a folder I like to use to work. I will call that folder, let me call it DevOps Azure. So I'll put my key here. Uh, Docker underscore key dot pen. I'll leave it there. Uh, now that my 
virtual machine has been created I go to resource so this is my virtual machine uh, in AWS you call it EC2 uh, but uh, Azure calls it virtual machine and this is my public IP I can copy it here um, so basically uh, that's that that's that nothing nothing much oh uh, but there's something um hold on hmm all right let's move let's go to our yeah our local terminal what you want to do is to navigate to that folder where you saved that key I know where my folder is uh, DevOps and um, I think Azure yeah it's there if I put my LS as you can see that's where the key is so first thing I want to do is to give that key the permission uh, right docker key.pm so after doing that the next thing I want to do is to SSH into uh, my um, what was it called into that uh, my virtual machine so what I do is um, I come here and that's the command you use ssh-i docker key the name of your, of your docker key dot pm um, atuba remember atuba was the, was the name I used to create the virtual machine at the public IP address I do that and yes um, and as you can see this here shows that I am now in the virtual machine because Atuba is now the user and the next thing that I would want to do is to um, update the system packages and that's a simple code uh, sudo apt update Next, I would want to uh, install my install my uh, Docker dependencies. All right, so the code is sudo um, apt install Docker Docker.io. Now that that is done, the next thing is to um, start the Docker service, and that's the code for doing that. Yeah, it has started, and uh, soon we'll see that it has started. Um, the next thing to do is to add the current user, which is Atuba, to uh, the Docker group. Uh, group, uh, so that I would have to st I would stop using the sudo command. Uh, so this who am I uh, is Atuba who am I uh, is a variable that will bring the current user which is Atuba and add it to the to the docker group so that has been done uh, 
and the next thing you want to do is to exit the session so that this group the grouping of atuba can take effect now you don't have to use atuba atuba is my name you can use your name and now we've 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 logged out now we're, we're logging back in um all right we're back in and now what you want to do is to verify that your docker has been installed by typing docker info yeah as you can see all of these are the details of our installation it tells you we have zero containers running zero images uh, but a better way to to show that your docker has been installed and is running successfully is to run this command so you're trying to pull uh, the hello world image and uh, basically this is telling you that your installation appears to be working correctly so this is how you install and initialize docker on uh, microsoft azure virtual machine